What's up guys, my name is Tom and today we're going to be talking about two Rode products. The first one is the Rode VideoMic Pro, which is the original one, um, which is what you're listening to me through at the moment, which is plugged directly into my Canon 6D on a low input volume and with plus 20 dB on the actual microphone itself. Uh, this is so I don't have to use the camera's inbuilt preamps as much as I normally would have to, uh, which allows me to get a slightly better and nicer signal. Uh, the other option, which I'll play you in a minute, is a lav mic by, again, Rode, plugged into a Zoom H1 handy recorder. So, as I said, you're listening to me through the Rode VideoMic Pro at the moment. I've got some music playing off to camera left, um, just to kind of show how well it will pick up someone's voice if you have got stuff uh, just off to either side of them. Um, so now I will swap over to the Rode video, uh, one, actually, I will swap over to the Rode Love, sorry, uh, plugged into the Zoom H1 on, uh, I believe it's 60 input, and I uh, will listen to how that sounds. So now you're listening to me through the Love microphone. Um, again, I'm speaking normal volume, um, but this allows me to go completely anywhere I want, away from the camera, uh, no wires connecting me to the camera at all, so I can be as far away and still get nice uh, pickup, yeah, nice pickup pattern because it's an omnidirectional mic. Uh, there's no problem with me going really far away because obviously the microphone's attached to me and not the camera, like the Rode VideoMic Pro, which is just sat on the... Uh, with its cold shoe adapter. So there are obviously both pros and cons to both a on-camera shotgun mic such as the Rode VideoMic Pro, as well as pros and cons to a lav system like this. Um, when you're out and about, obviously if you do want to be light and compact, a, uh, and, well, and simple really, an on-mic camera such as the Rode VideoMic Pro is a really good way to go. Uh, you don't really have to think about levels too much as long as you've got it set up once. It's nice and easy to the point and the camera operator can basically run as sound versus if you're running something like a lav system which is what you're listening to me through at the moment it can play a few issues uh, you've got to kind of adjust it depending on how loud they are what conditions you're in things like that so talking about conditions obviously a big factor you've got to think about when recording any sort of sound is wind so Rode has two options um, to cover wind basically. The first one is for the Rode VideoMic Pro, which we will uh, swap back to. So you're listening to me through the Rode VideoMic Pro, and if it's windy and you're outside, or I mean air conditioning, anything like that, and you've got a consistent uh, kind of breeze on the microphone, what Rode offer is a dead cat. So basically, nice and simple, the microphone goes on there, nice little Rode tag, and uh, Plain and simple, cuts out some of the wind. These, I will be honest, aren't amazing. Um, they're definitely better when you're out and about than just the, the phone capture itself. However, I'd recommend a third party, uh, third party wind jammer or dead cat, um, which I'll put in the description below. Um, the other option is if you're listening to a lav mic. So with the lav mics, uh, if you're out and about again, they do Little Fluffy, also known as another dead cat, um, which just sits on top of the, well, sits on top of the lavalier mic and again cuts out wind. Now these, however, are seriously good. Um, I went out the other day, we were doing a bit of filming to test out the Rode Link and, well, I'll just let you see a, a little small sneak preview of what it sounds like. Uh, with that wind jammer on now. Wireless lav and uh, transmitter kit. So obviously out and about cycling and it was windy and no wind noise at all. So really good, uh, really good nice little extra which is included with the lav set. Unlike with the Rode VideoMic Pro, um, the dead cat you have to buy separately. Talking about things that you have obviously with the the packages, the Rode VideoMic Pro comes as it is by itself, but a great bit of kit. The lav mic obviously obviously comes with the lav itself, uh, the wind jammer, and it also comes with 
a nice little road certified bag, which is always nice. Um, keep wires and uh, microphones separate, get some protected, um, easy to sort out, things like that. So this has literally just been a case of seeing the difference between obviously a Rode VideoMic Pro and a Rode Lav. Obviously they are different things and I do appreciate the sound quality is gonna change depending on situations and different people can obviously get different sounds out of them. Um, I by no means am a sound specialist, that's more Nathan's department. However, I will, I mean, it's, it's, it's plain and simple. The Rode VideoMic Pro plugs straight into the side of the camera. That's what I prefer. But the, uh, the Rode Love, if you need that to be uh, portable, transport around, walk around wherever you need. If your talent's away from the camera, any wide shots, anything like that, it's always handy to have a, uh, a Love system available. Next week, we'll be talking about the Rode Link system and the Rode Filmmaker kit and what that includes and basically we're going into a bit more depth about the sound quality that you can get with the LAVs and stuff like that and give a few examples of what you can do with them, when you might want to use them, when not to use them and uh, a few alternatives. So I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you want to hear any more in depth um, information about them or anything like that, just leave a uh, question in the comments, we'll get back to you. And also let us know what else you wanna see. We've got loads of different things that we uh, have got recently, so we can be doing a lot of reviews. Um, if you wanna see um, more music videos, if you wanna see more films, let us know and obviously we can, uh, we can cater to what you, what you wanna see. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.